Welcome to a special Friday edition of the RV Man LP Exhibition, as stated in episode 107, for the reasons why this is happening. Meanwhile, today we are going to be doing my personal favorite movie, Fusion Reborn, with 100% more Saiyan Man, much to my dismay. After the battle with Majin Buu, Goku was continuing his training in Otherworld. When disaster struck, and a freak accident gave rise to the evil monster Janemba. Janemba's influence brought the worst villains who ever lived back to Earth, throwing the world into chaos. The Z Fighters have waged a desperate battle across the dimensions in an effort to stem this tide of destruction. But in order to defeat Janemba, the two ultimate warriors will once again be forced to use the fusion technique. And sadly, it has 100% less Gotenks versus Adolf Hitler and the zombie Nazis. Anyway, this one actually is my favorite because not only the artwork, but the music, and more importantly, the battle with Janimba. I gotta say, it was a class act. Trouble was brewing for King Yemma. Meanwhile, Goku and Pycon faced off in the Otherworld Tournament. Goku, I'm ready to settle this. Me too, Pycon! And now we start off with a fight that should have took precedence over the Sandman Saga, but that's just me. Anyway, when fighting Pycon, there's two things you need to remember. One, his Thunder Flash is not as effective as it was in the show. And two, you're in the World Martial Arts Stadium. So you're just gonna be able to ring him out. Anyway, PyCon. What can I say about PyCon except for the fact that he has two moves. Burning Strike, which is his dash. And he also has... I... Let me remember. Yes, I know, Hyper Tornado. Which is not like the show. No, instead, it's just him spinning around in a. No, it's just him being surrounded by a tornado and dashing into the opponent. It does a good bit of damage. However. Damn, he still hasn't gotten Ring out yet? There's this move that I was talking about. But also, he has the Thunder Flash. Which, if you're in a good vicinity, he will annihilate you. Sort of. But the Thunder Flash actually has one flaw. You can instant transmission from it, just like the show, and blast him, because he'll be left wide open. Otherwise, he's a solid character. In the midst of their fierce match, disaster struck. Huh? What? What's that? Suddenly, King Kai appeared to warn them that King Yemma was in grave danger. King Yemma? Then this probably isn't the best time to finish our match. It can't be helped. Let's go, Goku. Now, I only mention PyCon because of the fact that he won't be seen ever again for the rest of this playthrough. Well, let me rephrase that, for the rest of this scenario. He'll probably be shown at the end, but that's it. Other than that, we'll be introduced to one of my favorite movie villains. However, they don't have the HFIL stage, or hell stage, if you will. Instead, we're fighting in Kami's Lookout. Well, that's kind of a comrade, consider it Kami means God. Anyway, let's continue. Leave this to me. You take care of King Yemma. Right. Do your best, Goku. 
Chomopa! Wow! His energy is amazing! This is gonna be intense! And now we face Janimba! Let me give you a word of warning. Build up your stocks to transform your Super Saiyan 3. Otherwise, don't attempt to grapple him. This is a huge character! Now for Jan Janimba himself. Janimba has Super Explosion! And also... Janimba has... How should I put it? A move where he... Constantly shoots uh, homing fireballs at his opponent. But he also has a rush move as an ultimate finisher where he pummels the opponent... By putting his hand through dimensions and punching him from far away. Just be careful whenever you're fighting Janimba. But also, there's one thing I need to mention. He's pretty fast for a guy his size. Oh, that and one other thing. He can transform at any time. Oh, I thought he had a super explosion. Ah, stupid me. That must have been Punkai 3. Take page 3 I was thinking of. So he has the mouth blast. Anyway... Anything else? Yes. Something you might want to know about Janemba 2, he will transform into his alternate form in higher difficulties. So be wary of that. Damn, missed him. Uh, I know there was one other thing. In this game, for some distinctly unknown reason, Funimation calls him Janimpa. Well, this particular form, Janimpa. Which I find that defeats the purpose because both forms are Janimba. I. I don't know. It's Funimation, localization for the win. <sighs> I do know one thing if Yamcha tried to fight that thing, he'd be screwed. No, seriously, he would be. Whoa! What are you? A wizard? <laughs> no choice then! I've got to go all out and try to finish him off all at once! Yeah! Well... I do have to say this. You only have to fight Janimba probably two more times. Because every other fight after this, up until like the last three fights, is nothing but Saiyan Man. <laughs> nothing but Saiyan Man. Oh my god, that is painful. No, wait, no. These are the fights that consist of nothing but Saiyan Man. Damn. Well, shut me up. <laughs> but I gotta tell you, you have Sam and Fidel, so bear that in mind. I'm just following orders. I'm supposed to crush everything inside. Well, that seems like as good a way as any to kill some time. Halt, you rapscallions! Who the heck are you? Evildoers, beware! I am the hero of justice, the Great Saiyaman! I'm here too! Hmm, so he thinks he's a hero, eh? Let's give him a little dose of reality. You know, I'm kind of wishing God Tanks was able to fight the Nazis right about now. Anyway, instead, Saiyaman and Fidel is fighting Kui and Souza. Oh, not that guy again. <sighs> so long as I don't fall for a stupid...
stupid dancing technique, I'll be fine. Ready? Fight! Word of advice to the wise. Evil can't escape. Whenever you get the chance, these guys you could beat with regular Saiyan Man. I might as well show them off because I'm going to be fighting with them for the next couple of fights. That's Saiyan. That's one of Saiyan Man's moves, Super Explosion. The other, I think, is just a slash. And then he has the move where he and Videl team up on an enemy. No, not Videl. I mean, Great Saiyan Man. Mark II, or Say a Woman, or Say a Girl, or whatever you want to call her. Basically, this is the same thing Videl does to people in her regular form. It's pretty obvious as to why I do not like Say a Man in this game, that is. Ah, yes. This would be effective to any normal enemy. But bear in mind, Saiyan Man has to fight Parodagarn in Wrath of the Dragon. So, yeah. I'm going to tell you right now, fighting Parodagarn is a pain in the ass with this guy. So whatever chance you get, power down to Gohan. And just wait till you get stocks and power up to Super Saiyan 2. That is my best advice for not just Rudigon, but everybody else. Because let's face it, Sam Man sucks in this game. Now, Videl. I've already said about Videl's normal form. I think her other form does well, almost the exact same thing. It'll be like she just didn't transform at all. Get up, Souza! Oh crap! Uh, it is just painful to play as these two. Did, did I just hear him say, "At this rate, I'm toast" with a French accent? It's, this is so painful! So freaking painful! But in this form, Videl is indeed stronger. Bear with me, folks. Because we're we'll be dealing with Saiyan Woman and Saiyan Man throughout the entirety of this part. I really wanted to fight the Nazis with Goten and Trunks. Really? Now you have witnessed the power of the Great Saiyaman! Good job, Gohan. You're not bad. That voice. Don't tell me. And just for the record, Gohan only punched one person in the stomach as Great Saiyaman, and that was Frieza! Yes, he he one-shotted Frieza. That's the only cool part about the movie with Gohan's appearance. I'm not saying anything bad about the movie, but... The fact that they're padding the fact that Goten and Trunks fought the Nazis with Saiyan battles is just ridiculous. ha <laughs> Bojack! Well, so you know who I am. And as a reward, I'll kill you! You get to fight me, little girl. No. As strong as she's gotten lately, Patel's not ready for a battle like this. I'm sorry if it sounds like whining, but... Really, Bojack and Sanya? Well, at their level, well, I mean my player's level, they, they'll do fine. But in higher difficulties, 
Bojack will wipe the floor with Videl, and so will Xenia. So it's best you fight with Gohan. And you know what? I'm going to get sick and tired of Saiyaman eventually. And you kicked, you ass! You kicked! And you called it Iron Fist! Just, ah! This definitely is one of those joke characters. And on that note, I would even prefer Tien Cha over the Great Saiyaman. For those of you who don't know who Tien Cha is, that's the fusion of Yan Cha and Oh, God damn it. I mean Tien, yes. Fusion of Yan Cha and Tien. A rather hilarious one at that. And would you believe he was much stronger than Saiyaman? And the only reason why I'm playing as Saiyaman and not powering down to Gohan is because for some reason I feel the need to embarrass Bojack. I don't know why. Run, 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 run! Aww. Yep, he fell for that. It's just only a matter of time. I'm gonna change out of Great Saiyaman. So I think I've had enough of Great Saiyaman. Oh! And I think I need to get my revenge on you for embarrassing Yamcha. Even more than what he embarrasses himself. So just for you, I'm gonna transform to Super Saiyan 2. All that destruction, damn you! I bet you somebody in the comments is gonna mention why you have a good Saiyan. Oh shit! Okay, that was just stupid of me. Well, let me get, let me elaborate right now before I finish off Zanya. It's not what I have against Saiyaman, it's how he plays in this game. Finish. And Saiyaman plays so terribly that he makes you want to power down to Gohan in order for it to actually be bearable. And god forbid if you ever try to transform into Saiyaman again, you'll be asking to be defeated. Anyway, just for the record, we only have one more fight with Saiyaman. Hopefully. Is it finally over? Gohan, are you okay? <laughs> Such a tacky outfit. I second that. Your fashion sense is terrible. <sighs> Come on. Really, game? Really, freeze and sell. You know what? I prefer fighting with Goten and Trunks against the Nazis than fighting against freeze and sell with the great Saiyaman and Videl. Seriously. <sighs> but Fusion Reborn is still my favorite movie. Don't get me wrong, it really is. It would appear some very odd styles have become popular while we were away. Absolutely dreadful. Frieza! And Cell too? Oh my, we're honored that you know who we are. And finally, we have an opportunity to play a little. Darn, I'm worn out, but I have no choice here. Seriously, Funimation. Go tanks, Nazis, make it happen. Anyway, now Gohan and Videl has their toughest challenge yet. If you remain a Saiyan man, immediately switch out to Gohan, specifically for this fight, because Videl will get creamed at the hands of Cell and Frieza, even if she's at level 100. 
I just need to make sure I beat him up enough in order for me to get stuck. Alright, we're at good. We're in good standings right now. I just need to beat him enough to gain enough power for me to become Super Saiyan. Yeah, that's right. Keep coming near me. I can end this fight really easily. Come at me, bro. Damn. He blocked it. Whew. That's close. Oh, god damn it. It's Perfect Cell. It's not just him. No, it's not just... Perfect cell, it's super perfect cell. That's ah damn it. What the hell was this game thinking? First Broly and now perfect cell. Ah, it's best not to whine about it. Anyway, keep Gohan alive as long as you can. Because Videl vs. Cell is not a winnable battle. You'll be doing just as much damage as Hercule is doing as far as Videl is concerned. Ah, uh, he's almost dead. Just a little bit more. Oh god damn it, stop doing that! Guess I'll take care of you. I missed! Whew. Oh, that's good enough. Damn! That is a lot, and I repeat, a lot of Sandman battles. Hopefully we get the true storyline in the next part. I really hope so. Oh man, I really am... Gohan, great job! You are so awesome! Oh, come on! <laughs> and with that, ladies and gentlemen, this concludes the... Well... Sandman portion of the Fusion Reborn Saga. In the next episode, a Sandman free conclusion of Fusion Reborn. This is RV Man 985. Thank God I've gotten through the worst of the saga. See you guys next time. I still like the movie, by the way. It has a little less Sandman battles in it. And I still want to see Gotenks fight the Nazis in a game. Take care. <laughs>